Right, so uh, we're spinning this. Uh, I've, I've put a, uh, the outside of a DVD-R box around it so the uh, magnets don't fly off this time. So we've still got all of the uh, tape around it and it seems to be working well like that. Anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate that like, uh, we're getting 12.43 uh, to the charging batteries, which is battery B. Uh, the load now is 11.83. Uh, so, uh, so you've got a slight volt drop, but not much. Now, uh, something else I wanted to demonstrate. I've got a, a coil here with another coil inside it. And uh, both of them have got LEDs hooked up to the ends of them. And uh, the closer you bring it in, as you can see, they light up. So, let's have a look at that. And these light up all, all the way around. And uh, that's what we're going to actually gather back by using coils like this one. Uh, instead of doing uh, bifilia, I think we're just going to do single generation coils. And uh, to be honest, even a small coil like that. Oh, is uh, generating enough to light an LED. And then uh, the other coil, which is inside it, is uh, generating the other one. Now, uh, I think we could put quite a few out these around the side. But can, you, can you see how it slowly fades in the, the further in you come until it's very bright there and that's only actually AC current at the second if you used to rectify that you'd be getting uh, both halves of the uh, wave back so you, in essence you'd be getting twice the amount back I don't know if you can hear though, you, you can slow the motor down slightly by putting it there because it's got a slight amount of drag Speed to begin there. So I'm going to see if we can put enough of these around the outside to gather some back without uh, slowing it down enough that uh, it's uh, useless. So we're still charging the other battery whilst we're gathering all of this back out again, which is great. So I think we're well on our way with this.